Many deaths from colorectal cancer could be prevented with regular screenings like colonoscopy. I asked Dr. Richard Eisenman to talk more about this test and how it can save lives. I think it's very important. Uh, this is one type of uh, procedure that may uh, either lower the risk of, of developing colon cancer or stopping it completely. So I think it's a very important thing to be done. Colon cancer is one of the biggest killers in this country, or has been, and it's already been shown that people who, uh, or populations where screening has been undertaken, the risk of colon cancer drops. So I think it's very important. So how often should people get colonoscopies? Current recommendations are the beginning of the age of 50, uh, especially for Caucasians, uh, colonoscopies be done every five to 10 years, depending on one's risk. For African Americans, it's felt that they should start at an earlier age, uh, perhaps age 45. What are the risk factors for colon cancer? Uh, the major risk factors are felt to be uh, obesity, diabetes, smoking. Uh, there are people who have uh, family histories of colon cancer or, or uh, colon polyp syndromes that are at higher risk. For the general population, though, it's, it's not clear there's anything else that can uh, drive you to go and get screened. And what can you expect the day before and the day of the procedure? Probably the worst time is the day before. Uh, first of all, you have to be on a special diet. We try to limit uh, intake, uh, mainly the liquids if at all possible. Uh, and also the colon has to be cleansed prior to the procedure. Uh, that's perhaps the biggest stumbling block that we run, run up against. The day of the procedure, um, people arrive in an endoscopy unit like ours approximately an hour ahead of time and um, they have an IV placed. Uh, the uh, procedure itself will take about 20 or 30 minutes, uh, depending on how difficult it is to maneuver through the colon and what is found. Uh, and the recovery time is a half hour here, uh, at least until people are awake and alert. Uh, many people when they get home will sleep longer, but uh, at least a half hour here. Are patients asleep for a colonoscopy? Yes, we do provide sedation. It is not mandatory. We prefer it because it's easier to do a colonoscopy with somebody relaxed. Um, so we do provide sedation. It's given here at Conway by uh, our anesthesiology department. How has this procedure changed over the years? I've been doing this a long time, uh, probably three decades. And so when I first started, we used uh, fiber optic scopes that were different from the ones we use now. The, the video scopes that we now use came out just as I was finishing my training. Uh, and those have developed further. They've become thinner, more flexible scopes. Um, the, um, we use high definition monitors, so it is much easier to do colonoscopy today than it used to be. Um, we also have advanced equipment, equipment for removing polyps. Um, for doing other therapeutic work within the colon. So uh, it has changed a lot over, over my lifetime. The PrEP, unfortunately, hasn't changed quite as much. We do have more choices. Um, when I first started doing this, we mainly used magnesium citrate and, and glucolax tablets, two laxatives. Uh, nowadays, we use colon cleansings with these electrolyte solutions uh, where people have to drink large volumes of fluid. Uh, perhaps that's... Uh, in some respects a little bit more palatable, you know, there's not, but it's certainly a larger volume of fluid than we used to use. Uh, the preps, again, are probably the biggest stumbling block to doing anything. How safe are colonoscopies? I think that uh, another thing that comes up frequently uh, is the safety of the procedure. Uh, many, many patients are concerned that something horrible is going to happen to them, either from the anesthesia, they may not wake up, or from the, the colonoscopy itself. And certainly there are risks involved both from the standpoint of anesthesia, uh, as well as from the standpoint of doing a colonoscopy. Uh, but I think that the benefits far outweigh the risks. They've been shown that time and again. So I, I think it's still worth doing. 